Hello viewers, welcome to our YouTube channel Sci Edu Pharma. Today we are going to discuss one of the important topics of novel control drug delivery systems which is liposomes. This topic is not only in B Pharm 7 semester but also it comes in M Pharm pharmaceutics subject also. What are liposomes? Its definition, advantages, disadvantages, composition and structure of liposomes we will be discussing in part 1 and further in part 2 we will be seeing types of liposomes, its applications and method of preparation. So basically in this topic we have to study about definition, composition, structure, surface modifications, advantages, disadvantages, types, applications, marketed products and method of preparation. Because if we discuss all these topics in one if we discuss all these topics in one video then it will be very large, very long video. So we will be dividing this into two or three parts. So what are liposomes? When we see in detail, then liposomes are microscopic vesicles which are composed of one or more lipid bilayers surrounding an aqueous core. So they are artificial vesicles which can be used to deliver drugs, enzymes and other substances to specific cells or tissues in the body. We will be seeing what are the main reasons because of which they have a variety of applications, how we can prepare them and how they are commonly used in the field of pharmaceuticals and medicine. If we go in the history of liposomes, then they were actually originated from multilamellar vesicles which were clearly taken on by electron microscope images observed by Bangham and Horn in 1964. But in 1965, Bangham et al. reported that biomembrane model system which was established based on vesicle structures and had iron gradient. But Gregorius et al. in 1971 firstly used liposomes to deliver the bioactive substances. And I think we all are very well aware that in 1990, the first injectable liposomal drug amphotericin B, which, was, which is antibiotic, its liposome was available or was developed in Europe with the name Ambisome. And in 1995, the first liposomal anti-cancer drug, which is Doxil, it was also the first FDA approved nanomedicine which was on the market in the USA. This is the history of liposomes. Now we will be seeing in detail about the structure and compositions of liposome. The liposomes, they have structure very similar to our biological cell membrane. You can see this structure here that uh, you can see in this structure that uh, it has a hydrophilic end and hydrophobic end. Always head, this is we have, uh, you can see here in blue color, this is polar and it shows hydrophilic end or water loving end. And uh, these cholesterol or this phospholipid end, they are what? They are uh, hydrophobic end. In phospholipid molecule, there are two ends. Head is always polar that is hydrophilic and tails are uh, um, uh, tails are hydrophobic okay or water repellent and you can see here because of this structure they can encapsulate both water soluble and lipid soluble substances so you can see here in detail the composition so basically what are the composition or what constitutes the liposome so liposomes are primarily composed of lipids which are amphiphilic molecules see this this is the structure of a liposome and the core is hydrophilic because here you can see here head is present and here you can see the tail and it has cholesterol uh, cholesterol is added in it we will see in detail about cholesterol also this portion is hydrophobic where the tail is present and where the head is present it is hydrophilic so in the hydrophilic core we can encapsulate or incorporate water soluble drug and in this area we can incorporate lipid soluble or water insoluble drug so this is the structure of liposome this is individual lipid as i was saying head loves water and tail hates water or this is hydrophilic and this is hydrophobic this is the detailed structure of phospholipid 
we know that phospholipid is composed of a glycerol backbone attached on one end to two fatty acids and the other end has the esterified phosphoric acid and an organic alcoholic group this is the structure of phospholipid can you tell me some names of phospholipids mm -hmm. so we have phosphatidylcholine then egg phosphatidylcholine then it is also called as lecithin so this is the structure of a phosphatidylcholine here there is a one phosphate group and this is a choline group so some of the other examples are also there for phospholipids you can see phosphatidylcholine as we saw then phosphatidylethanolamine then serine ionositol then phosphatidic acid phosphatidylglycerol by changing the head group uh, the composition or the nature of the phospholipid could be altered. This is the structure of cholesterol and it also has hydrophilic and hydrophobic end and this is the structure of liposome that I was saying was in this you can see orange color they are hydrophobic drugs and this you can see here greenish color drug this is hydrophilic drug. So in core we can incorporate hydrophilic drug and here in outer side, we can incorporate lipid soluble drug. So, now we will be seeing in detail about the composition or the constituents present. As you know that phospholipids are the primary building blocks of liposomes. And they are, uh, the phospholipids self-assemble in water to form bilayers. And they are very important part of the liposomes. Second constituent that we add is cholesterol. So, basically it is a sterol molecule and it helps to stabilize the liposomal membrane by preventing leakage and improving the rigidity and flexibility of lipid bilayers. And we can also use other lipids besides these both if we want to change or we want to modify the structure of the liposomes. For example, glycolipids can be added to create liposomes with improved stability and targeting properties. So, cholesterol, then natural non-toxic phospholipids, then unsaturated phosphatidylcholine species from natural sources, which are egg or soya phosphatidylcholine, they can be used and they give much more permeability and less stable layers. But saturated phospholipids which are which have long acyl chains like dipalmitoyl phosphatidylcholine, they form a rigid and rather impermeable bilayer structure. So according to the purpose why we are, we are preparing the liposome, we can alter the composition of the liposomes. These are another example of surface modifications of liposome. For example, you can use polyethylene glycol molecules and this, this is called as pegylation and they increase the circulation time in the bloodstream by reducing the uptake by the immune system. Similarly, we can also attach some of the ligands, antibodies, peptides to the surface because these are the molecules which help in the targeted drug delivery system. We can also modify various types of lipids, their ratios and according to that we can tailor or we can design our own liposomes for our purpose. Then these modifications affect the stability, drug loading capacity and release characteristics and targeting abilities of liposomes. Picture we have taken from Riaz et al. 2018 and uh, from this article, you can see this was very nice picture. In left hand side, you can see this is conventional liposome. And in this hydrophobic drug is present. And a hydrophilic drug is present. And these are phospholipids. But in this second one, you can see here green pegylation. Here PEG is incorporated. So these are pegylated liposomes. Then in this, you can see that various types of ligands could also be attached. Here carbohydrates, then small molecules, peptide, proteins, antibodies, then aptamers, these can be incorporated and we can achieve various types of targeting. Similarly, for multifunctional liposome, here you can see that uh, you can add imaging agent, you can use targeted ligands like antibodies. So, in this way, we can modify the liposome. Here, one more thing, genetic material was also incorporated. So, by modifying, we can 
change the structure and thereby the application of the liposome could be changed. What are the advantages of liposomes? As you can see that the um, liposome, it increases the stability by encapsulation of the drug and they are non-toxic, flexible, biocompatible. They are completely biodegradable and because they are very similar to our membranes, so they are non-immunogenic for systemic and non-systemic administration. They also reduce the toxicity of encapsulated agents like amphotericin B, Taxol. They help to reduce the exposure of sensitive tissues to toxic drugs. Site avoidance effect is produced and flexibility to couple with site specific ligands to achieve active targeting. And very important one is that we can incorporate water soluble and water insoluble both category of drugs in the liposome. Now what are the disadvantages of liposomes? It has short half life. We have to improve the stability of the liposomes and sometimes phospholipid undergoes oxidation and hydrolysis like reaction. Sometimes leakage or fusion of the encapsulated drug molecules might occur and because we are designing or we are modifying then the production cost is high because the composition, the components that we are adding, they are costly and uh, very few stability problems are also seen. So, in further researches, in the in further researches, what we did was we modified the liposomes to reduce the, so this was our part one in which we saw definition, composition, structure, surface modification, advantages and disadvantages. In next part, we will be seeing types of liposomes, applications, marketed products and method of preparation of liposomes. So thank you so much. Stay connected with Sai Edu Pharma and do go and watch our playlist on NDDS.